ABC Big 2 News. Our concern, of course, from the county standpoint is, is, is to make everything back to, to, to being the way it was before this ever happened. Developing now at 6, crews are working to fix some major damage at the Ector County Cemetery. Over the weekend, multiple grave sites were damaged. Good evening, I'm Caitlin Landers. Carson and Madeline have the night off. ABC Big 2's Rob Took joins us from Muskingum Avenue in Odessa. Rob, police confirmed the cause of the damage. Well, that's right, Caitlin. Right over my shoulder, that cemetery fence has been fixed after a vehicle plowed into it. But Odessa police say the driver drove into the cemetery lands on purpose. He told officers that he wanted to end his life, but he survived, and now the cleanup continues today. County groundskeepers are working hard to clean up the mess. Headstones that were knocked down are being picked up. Tread marks can still be seen on several plots. People have been passing by the Ector County Cemetery to check in on their loved ones' graves to see if their families' plots and grave sites have been damaged. Approximately six or so plots were damaged. From the way tire tread marks can be seen, it shows how a vehicle made its way onto cemetery grounds, hitting a handful of headstones, even breaking a fence. One woman I spoke with stopped to see the damage caused to her father's grave site. She found out it was damaged Sunday morning around 6.30. It was still dark because my brother-in-law, um, he passed, he works that early, so he passed me, he saw it. So he, we're in a group message and that's how we found out and I got here and I'm like, oh. She wanted to remain anonymous, but says to whoever caused the damage, she forgives them. Because his children never know what they're going through and this could be fixed. You know what I mean? I met with Mike Gardner, Ector County Commissioner of Precinct 1, to talk about the cleanup process. This is what what we wake up to and, and, and now we have to do the best we can do to get it back and we will. He says crews are making sure everything gets put back to order like it was before. We'll get headstone, new headstones ordered and get them put back up and, and uh, I, I'm sorry for the inconvenience that it's caused to families and the stress that's put on families. I know that it has. Uh, nobody ever wants to see anything like this happen and, and it's, it's, it's a sad deal but you know what? We're going to work real hard and make sure everything's back like it's supposed to be. The man who drove into the cemetery has since been placed into protective custody according to Odessa Police Department. So the big question is, who's going to pay for the damage? County Commissioner Mike Gardner says ideally it would be the man who caused the damage, but if he doesn't have insurance, then the bill may fall onto the cemetery's insurance company. Reporting live in Odessa, Rob Two, ABC Big Two News. Thanks, Robin. You can read more about this story right now on yourbasin.com.